emboldened by our first writing the test first, then writing the implementation, we're going to hit the next requirement and then see how it works when we have two tests and two implementations. The next one is the most recently added item is first. It's very similar to array.shift in JavaScript. And it's the least recently added last. So we got to find a way to add multiple items. We'll do a bunch of assertions to make this basically work here. First one is we want to say adding an item adds it first. And that's generally pretty easy because the first item should only have one item in it, but we can at least <laughs> confirm our implementation works. So we'll say array equals empty, but then we're going to add something. So let's say the array one that's changed, we'll say add a cow and we'll add it to the array. And that'll give us a different array because data in Elm is immutable. And so we have this array one, which should have, let's say expect equal get zero. So we'll say at the first indice of the array, if we get it, it should equal a cow, just a cow, right? I think that's going to work, but we have two methods that we have to implement now. The first is get which is generally pretty easy. So let's go ahead and assume we're gonna need those now that we have the test. Let's save just to make sure it fails. Okay, fantastic, it's failing. Let's go to get, get's generally pretty easy. We want an index and an array and we'll just proxy to or abstract array.get for now, index array. Okay, and then expose it. That makes it happy. So let's do the add now, add an item to an array. And it's got to add it to the first. The only way I know how to do this, since there's no array.shift or unshift, I always get this confused. We'll just make a brand new one. <laughs> we'll just, we'll add two arrays. So we'll say array.append and we'll say array from list. So we'll put an array or list, whatever, with the item in the very beginning and the only one, then we'll append it to this second array and that'll put this item first. And then we'll make sure that we expose add and okay, we've got our first error to our test and see what we did wrong. Oh, we're not using array one, that's why. There we go, that little underline should have helped me. So this is where types can help too, not just tests. Okay, now our test passed, fantastic. We have to do it with two items because we want to make sure that if we add two, that the most recently item is added last. We'll copy pasta, but then we'll do an array two, and we'll say add dose, because that's the second item we added, and this is the first, right? And so dose should actually be in the front because it's not like an array push. It's actually putting it in the front. So if we add an item to the array, it should always be adding it to the first. So this will be eventually added to the second. And let's change adding two items will result in the second one being first. Array is not used. Let's make sure we add that first. There we go. We've seen it pass. Let's make sure it fails. So we'll say uno just to be paranoid. And the first is dose and you know, that's fantastic. 